What up, YouTube? So I think I got like the dopest Carhartt today. And I know some of you are going to be like, isn't that just like a normal Carhartt jacket? And actually, no, this one's special. This, this one is extremely awesome because it is bulletproof. I know you can't tell, right? It just looks like a normal Carhartt. Um, and this is lined with level 3A ballistic armor. So that will stop. Uh, I, th there's a list of shells that will stop. I don't think this will work against, you know, a full-blown rifle round. You know, but still something good to throw on before going to the shooting range, right? And also what came in with it is this backpack. I was really curious to get this thing. I wanted to check it out uh, because I've been seeing articles online and some YouTube videos talking about parents buying bulletproof backpacks for their kids and like these backpacks selling out and being so hard to get and this and that. And I'm like, I don't know about all that. Uh, I still thought it was cool. I wanted to see what they were doing for a solution for that. Uh, so this is their armor. All right. And by them, I am talking about bulletproof everyone. So this is, I think this was, where is it? Yeah, this is a testing that they did on, you know, the sample of armor that is in this, uh, in this coat. We just, ha we have some care instructions here. If I want to store this thing for a couple of weeks, uh, I should leave it open. And by the way, let's actually look at the armor. This is what's cool about it, right? Bad boy opens up and what you'll notice, uh, it's not just armor going down the front right it's also going down the side you are totally covered right you got side protection and i tried i mean you you send them your measurements so you're going to get a nice fit right because in order for these things to protect you they do have to fit you well uh and i feel like they did a really good job of that uh they ask you for some simple measurements uh you send those back to them and they get they get started on your order um so this is the upgraded armor that they sell. Uh, there's like a, there's a 1.0 version and a 2.0. So it's, the newer armor is a little bit thinner and lighter. And it's the same level of protection. That does make a big difference. Uh, this is some of the older armor. It's got the same uh, protection value as the vest it's just a little bit thicker and yeah this stuff's probably a little bit heavier so you can get one of these coats lined with uh their original armor this stuff uh it's a little bit cheaper um i don't recall exactly how much the upgrade was i'm thinking like 100 120 dollars more uh i don't know that's just me ball it, it was a while ago that i ordered this so I don't know how much it was, but I paid to have this upgraded to their thinner, newer armor. Pretty happy about that. Uh, this thing, I mean, it weighs a little bit, probably a couple pounds, but that's nothing. Uh, that is nothing. I have an actual, ugh, I have an actual bulletproof plate here. All right, so two of these, that's like 20 pounds. Right, it's, you want to put that in a bag and carry it around, that's 20 pounds. No, you don't. Uh, on the other hand, you can get a couple of these and it's like not even as heavy as a, it's a high school history book. Damn, you know, you get a couple of these and you actually have a bulletproof backpack. So I'm actually going to reach out to them and ask them if they will just sell me uh, a couple of these, uh, a couple of these backpack I, I don't know what they're calling these things, just little little armor pads, right? Because the bag that I have right here in the background, two of these would actually sit perfectly inside of this bag. And this bag has a special pocket inside of it where I could where I could strap these things in. So I wanted to do something like that. Very awesome. This bag, I could also put the armor plates. I could slide them into this bag. And I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I tried it out one time because I thought it was funny because they are so heavy. And I mean, yeah, you feel like 
feel like a damn turtle or something wearing this thing, but it is like 20 pounds just from the plates dragging you down, plus whatever else you put into the bag. So uh, these, these plates, they're going to be targets. I think that's what I, I mean, that, that's originally what I bought these for. I think they're going to end up being targets, but I was just messing around with them in the meantime. But this armor, this is something you can actually carry, and this is something you can actually wear. And I think one of these jackets is way more applicable than an actual bulletproof vest, right? This is something that you're probably going to have on you casually if bad shit happens. That's already a huge advantage, IMO. Right, with a bulletproof vest or like actual, you know, combat armor, you kind of have to know you're going into combat and you have to go get all geared up and rigged up. Uh, with this, it's as easy as grabbing your jacket and throwing it on on your way out. Nobody's going to know that you actually are armored with anything because you can't really tell. Um, and yeah, you just go about your day, you know, and if something bad happens, well, uh, at least you are, you know, I don't want to say bulletproof, <laughs> but you are at least bullet resistant. And in a bad situation, I will take as much bullet resistance as I could get. Right. I mean, I don't know if these things have like a stab proof rating or anything like that. I haven't really looked into that. I've just been wearing this thing and just seeing how comfortable and functional it is. It's just as comfortable, just as functional as a Carhartt. Okay, I can't say just as because obviously you're you're adding a little bit of weight. Um, you know, it's another layer for the winter time, right? It's gonna keep you just a little bit that much warmer. I'm just hamming it up. I'm just kidding. No, the thing is comfortable. It's just a little bit heavier. Uh, for what you're getting, though, I don't think it's a heavy jacket at all. I have like a leather coat that. Yeah, my leather coat's heavier than this thing. I know it is. Uh, so, uh, and I can comfortably wear that. This isn't an issue at all. My leather coat is not going to let me shrug off bullets, right? What is this thing? There was a list somewhere where they actually, they did testing right here on a 44 mag and a 357, right? So, not bad, not bad. Here is... What they sent me, I'm thinking about maybe grabbing one of these hoodies up too. Covert and invert armors. They have a couple of different things here. I think I, I picked out one of these. Mine is... I think I went with the technician. Uh, because I actually wanted this to, to be as tight as I possibly could. It turned out great. I was worried with, with a lot of things that I get, my arms will be too long. Um... Yeah, and the sleeves will come up short. I didn't have that issue there. So these actually these actually do come down to my hands, thank goodness. Uh, and other than that, this thing fits very well on me. Uh, and I can wear something over it. That's the reason I got it, right? I do rock like giant uh, hooded cloak things. Like, I don't know, I I'm successful enough to be able to dress however the hell I want every day. So I, I, I whatever. Uh, and typically I'll just be throwing something over this thing. And I mean, you're really not going to notice it. I'm talking about like in the dead of winter, y'all here in Michigan, right? Uh, you're going to want some layers. Um, I think that's going to do it for me this winter, unless it gets super, super, super cold. Uh, and Hey, why not be bulletproof as well? Or bullet resistant? My bad, my bad. I shouldn't even shouldn't even be saying that. Anyway, this place is dope. Uh, I'm not sponsored for any of this. Like I did tell them that I would review their stuff, uh, and they sent me the backpack because I was working on my own backpack. Uh, they have an awesome backpack solution. Um, it's a great backpack, and it just has a pocket built in. Like I said for this armor this even says the backpack armor and the backpack armor is 3a you know this is the strike face so yeah i'm gonna see if i can get some more of these very happy with all this stuff very happy with all this stuff it is absolutely badass uh and nobody nobody has been able to 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 point out to me you know they just think this is a normal carhartt like I asked my brother, I've asked a couple friends, you guys like this color? Like, yeah, it's, it's a Carhartt, right? Yeah, it's cool, you know. 
Uh, nobody notices that, like, yeah, it's a bulletproof vest inside of a Carhartt. So, uh, very cool. I'm going to be getting more stuff from them. I did ask them directly, like, yo, if I send one of my robes in, uh, could you guys line that for me? Because that would just be dope. Just, like, a trench coat lined with 3A body armor. That would just be dope. And it'd be, uh, I don't know, with this stuff, I don't know how heavy it would be. I think I could rock it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. They did say that their shop is, no surprise, no surprise, their custom shop is booked uh, till this next year. So I'm going to get on that, though. I'm going to see if I can send some stuff into them. I have some brand new robes and just awesome stuff that I wouldn't mind having some of this armor. Uh, and they do a good job of putting it in. They do a good job of putting this stuff in. Oh, and look at that. The armor plates, of course, they're actually going to come out. So you could, you know, wash this stuff, take care of it. Uh, and as far as the armor itself, you guys see me actually bending it. And uh, it's kind of like a very thin mouse. Uh, and for body armor, that is very, very damn impressive. It's pliable. Uh, it's not super stiff. Uh, they even say in the instructions that you can take the armor armor plates out and you can you can roll them up and you can roll them up in all sorts of different directions and uh, you know it loosens it up and it, it makes it fit better to your body. I don't feel any discomfort at all or anything, uh, so I don't even feel the need to do that. This thing feels solid, and I think it's just going to get better and better the longer I wear it. It is good to know that all the plates can come out. I can swap them out, and I already did see that if there's actually a shooting and one of these stops a bullet, they will swap the armor out for you. Uh, they have it in this paperwork here somewhere. I just call this number and say, yo, I've been shot. It does say I'm going to have to provide them a police report, obviously. Uh, but they will swap out any armor. That is awesome. Like, that is really, really awesome. I think that's really cool. Uh, they're actually going to stick with you if you, uh, you know, if you, if you support them. And if you are in a terrible situation and your armor gets chewed up, they will send you a replacement. I just thought that was really cool. I wouldn't expect a company to do that, right? Um... So definitely props to them. We're going to see what else we can get out of Bulletproof. BulletproofEveryone.com. Yeah. And again, you know your boy's not sponsored. I get all this stuff myself. I just thought this was dope. Uh, and I wanted to, you know, actually have one and see it. I think I'm going to be wearing this thing a lot just because it is cool. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Later, YouTube. <laughs>